had two comfortable wins, Jamar Tali and Andrews Salgado of Chile on his way here. But this is a completely different level of quality. This is for a place in the final. And the final will be against uh, Keno Machado of Brazil, who's received a walkover. And Colwell unable to fulfill his engagement. So Keno Machado awaits the winner of this contest in the 92 kg category for men. Cruz, and typically size up his opponent, and then impose his excellent skills. He is getting towards the veteran stage, though. 34 years of age now, the Cuban orthodox stance. He's not the tallest, only 5'11". Still a little bit taller. Four out of Duran Gayas. He's 35 as well. This contest will also get an automatic berth at the Olympics in Paris next year. Fell over, falling backwards. Not a standing count, but taking evasive action, aware of the, the power of Castillo's left. That time he was rocked backwards by the left, and Castillo... An obdurate opponent were picked off by the, the left jab. Let's engage, says the referee. Oakman caught with a big right there and he's having a real go in his Pablo Castillo he caught uh, La Cruz with uh, a right there he caught him with a big left earlier on 20 seconds to go and it would be an upset but Castillo is doing enough in this first round to impress judges Press on lookers. Julio Cesar La Cruz has the confident air of a man who knows how to win medals. Julio Castillo has given him plenty to think about in that first round. missing he was kind of pushed backwards it was a stumble that's the one that really did rock him backwards and again he's caught him twice and the judges look at steel and they've looked at that and they've said three of them are in his favor La Cruz has got a real battle on his hands here Pulling the, the boxes together, round two. Paolo Poloni and uh, Pablo Vaslinchuk are the ones who are in the red corner. 
down to the judges. It's the Ecuadorian who's got three of the judges on his hands. And good shots there. Another left gets through and rocks the Cuban, La Cruz. Change of attitude for Lucruz now. He was very passive. Now he's taken the initiative. And he needs to because he's behind on the scorecard. Well, this is one heck of a battle at the moment, midway through. And Castillo could be on the brink of a, a big, big upset here. Julio Cesar La Cruz, the Cuban, has got a lot of work to do. He's a bit lackadaisical in the first, but these pinches are beginning to find their mark now. his mark more regularly Julio Cesar La Cruz dropped in that first minute of this uh, second round behind on the judges count that's better that's the Cesar La Cruz that we anticipate and evasive action as well is there as all the judges be marking him highly on his second in a couple of minutes of this round he has still got time to rescue this final couple of seconds and the Cuban responding to some real pressure being put on him by Julio Castillo, the Ecuadorian. American Games, bronze and silver, back in 27 and 2011. This is not meant to be his time, Castillo. And La Cruz has got the verdict from all five judges in the second round. So it's all square on three judges. And La Cruz ahead on two. Ukrainian and Italian judges have him. Winning both rounds so far. This for a place in Paris, this for a place in the final. Castillo taking the battle to La Cruz. The Cubans being in a fight, the Cubans being in a bout. Dana Machado, no doubt, looking on. And seeing these two guys work each other over in such a manner. He'll be fairly happy. He awaits the winner of this in the final tomorrow. Castillo goes low. La Cruz fights back, tries to score some points with the combination. Break is the call. Two minutes to go. We still haven't broken.
Castillo in the corner. Trying to punch his way out, but unable to do so. It's Castillo who's got to win the round. Castillo has got to convince the three judges who have this uh, marked as equal. That's the only way he'll do it. Good combination, a right and a left, both connecting from La Cruz. Final minute. It has been tough for Julio Cesar La Cruz, the Cuban. Double Olympic champion. Wants uh, to make sure he's back there again to defend his crowns. Next year in Paris. Also wants uh, Pan American gold as well. Castillo comes in, looks for a big left. Castillo, a brave, brave effort. Is it going to be enough? You're just looking at the professionalism though of Julio Cesar La Cruz. Final 10 seconds for Castillo. Big swinging left, it's easily evaded. And then will be a clinch at the end of a really, really good contest in which they both claim victory. Castillo can claim a moral victory. And did he do enough in that last round to make it a points victory? A reminder, three judges had this all square. Two had the Cuban in the lead. A big hug. It was a fine contest. And uh, Julio Castillo has asked huge questions of Julio Cesar La Cruz. The verdict is coming. The winner on points by a split decision. Ooh. Advancing to the men's 92 kilogram gold medal final. In the red corner, Yuba Julio Cesar La Cruz. A split decision victory for Cuba. Disappointment etched on the face of Julio Castillo. The Ecuadorian gave it everything, a four to one. Judges decision. The third round had everyone. For Anthony and Gaspar, the Czech judge in favor of La Cruz. He is double Olympic champion for a reason. Got himself out of a very, very tight corner there. And the celebrations will be subdued. Because he's got another tough contest tomorrow, but he is in the final. And he's back at the Olympics to defend his Olympic gold medals. Just did enough in the final round, despite some uh, brave efforts and punishing punches coming in from the Ecuadorian. That's the result going the way of Julio Cesar de la Cruz, the Cuban. Let's see how the judges break it down. 9-20, okay. Italian-Ukrainian judges, all three rounds going to uh, the Cuban. Chasing the game right from the very first round, but was convincing enough in rounds two and three to make this a point.